How you doing? This is Jim Fisher, and this is The Third Way. Not left, not right, America's third way, libertarianism. Uh, today is 9-13, so I wanted to talk about our 10-year anniversary of 9-11, uh, America's foreign, foreign policy, and also with the Republican debate last night, uh, there was a few, few uh, Republicans beating up on Dr. Ron Paul for his, uh, his view of American foreign policy and our role in 9-11. And uh, so I want to start by defending Dr. Ron Paul because I agree with him 100%. You know, most Americans have this self-soothing idea that 9-11 occurred and all suicide terrorism occurs towards the United States because we're rich, we're prosperous, uh, and, they, and so they hate us. They're jealous and or they're, they can't stand our way of life. Their religious ideology and jihad... Uh, makes them uh, want to attack us and end our way of life. I'm not saying these things aren't factors in, in suicide terrorism. They are. But if you if you want to have that simplistic view, that self-serving view of uh, why 9/11 happened, then I guess, you know I guess that's your right to do that. But if you want to have a more logical approach to why this happened, then you have to take a logical approach. Uh, Robert Pape has done studies on suicide terrorism and the, co the root causes of suicide terrorism. And what he found was, in, you know, from 1980 to the American occupation of Iraq, about 10% of suicide terrorism was aimed at the United States. From from the occupation of Iraq to now, not only has the amount of suicide terrorism expanded uh, very rapidly, but now 91% of all suicide terrorism is aimed at the United States. So just take a logical approach. What is the root cause of that massive expansion in suicide terrorism being aimed at the United States? It is our occupation of Iraq and Afghanistan uh, now we want to occupy Iran. You know, we, we can't let them make a nuke. You know, these countries that can barely get out of their own way because they're basically dictatorships, um, you know, we're so worried about uh, making weapons of mass destruction and nuclear bombs, and, and they can't even feed their own people. Um, I'm not to say that they're not dangerous, but they're going in and occupying them and fighting wars that countries that we don't belong in isn't the answer. We are making America less safe every single day we're there. We're not making anything more safe. If you want to have this self-serving idea that we're fighting this uh, this righteous war of um, you know nation building to correct correct uh, you know I don't know what what we're supposed to be correcting over there or what we think we're accomplishing, but. What we are accomplishing is making America less safe. You know, Osama bin Laden says, this is a quote from him, he calls, he calls the United States crusaders that want to occupy our soil, steal our natural resources, and keep it for themselves. That's from his mouth. So what fuel does he... He doesn't say, hey, look how prosperous and free they are. He doesn't say, you know... Uh, you know, our, our religion mandates that we attack just the United States. He uses the fact that we're crusaders and we're attacking them as his main ammunition to, to generate more terrorists. So, and we're, we're, feeding, the, we're feeding the fuel. Um, you know, it's, so we're, we are directly making our soil less safe. And that is not the role of government. The role of government the one role of government is safety, is our safety. And that's the one thing they're failing miserably at by occupying foreign nations and creating terrorism. You know, the rate of terrorism aimed at the United States goes up because of foreign occupation, not down. We are setting ourselves up for another massive attack. Now, am I saying we should do nothing in response to 9-11? No. We should fight the war in terror. But we need to take a logical approach to it. And that doesn't mean some, you know, occupation 
in Afghanistan to fight the Taliban, to what ends? You know, what is the ends? Has anybody ever actually clarified that for us? Have you ever heard a politician that is given an exact ends? What is the goal? You know, think of the insanity of fighting a war that has no goal, that has no victory, no end point. And each and every day, that fight and that loss of American lives makes American soil more dangerous. I mean, is that a logical approach to take to foreign policy? Not only that, the, the tyranny we impose on ourselves because we allow our government to utilize a crisis to create a Department of Homeland Security, the Patriot Act, the TSA, all these things that impose tyranny on ourselves. Tyranny doesn't come in a big chunk where the king just suddenly oppresses everybody. If, the, if, if tyranny came like that, the people would revolt. Tyranny comes in little bite-sized pieces, using one crisis at a time to expand the role of government into your life. That's how tyranny comes. If it came any other way, you would revolt against it. Think of, could the TSA exist in 1982? And the, and the answer is no. We would revolt against it. There's no way in 1982, for no reason, we would let a, a government agency at, at the airport take pictures of your privates and put up on a screen for people to look at. We would let people undress your children and your grandparents and remove your belts and this and that. There's no way we'd allow that in 1982. Because, and we would stand up and call it what it is, tyranny. Put a crisis in between then and now, and you'll buy into it. As long, as long as you believe that it's for your own safety, you'll buy into tyranny. And that's how the government accomplishes tyranny. You know, the king didn't come and, and bring it all in one big chunk at, at once. It came in little bite-sized pieces until it's too late and you can't go back. Every piece of tyranny never goes back. The TSA will not go away. If the Middle East blew up tomorrow, the TSA would not go away. Once it comes, it's there, and, it, and they keep building upon it until eventually it's too late. So we need to rethink how we look at these episodes like 9-11 and what we allow our government to do with these episodes uh, and how we allow them to react to other countries and, and how we allow them to, rea to react to us. Jim Fisher signing off for the third way, not left, not right, America's third way, libertarianism.